Here's a video about Sevcon Borg Warner DVT software with my Sevcon Gen 4 size 8 I XXAT interface. Fresh install of the software with a license. Let's see how this goes. My power wires, I have right here. I'm going to give it power, but the um, can is not yet hooked up. Now I should have a flashy light here. Steady flash, or is that a flash of a one? I don't know. Try not to short anything out. This is maybe where I need to drop the phone. To show is what blinky blinkies do I have here? Red flashing on the IXXAT and green solid. And here on the software, I know that's not the right rate. 500. Now it's saying it's missing the doodad, but do you need to get the doodad? Yes because I've never hooked up this software yet to this DVT software. So it needs to get the database file about my controller to be cool with it. And that takes a few minutes as I remember. Here's a couple things to note. Here on the bottom I have a percentage counting up. That's good. My power supply got a 13 and 0.2 volts and 1.2 amps of current is what it's drawing, and that's what I found to be the normal. So I don't have all the pins populated or even close to it, but I do have some incorrect pins for encoder on there, which I need to fix again. I do have the can lines and the power lines. Now I've got a green solid and a green solid. Green solid on can and green solid on USB. Once the software is cool. Okay, so almost finished with the download. I don't know exactly what it's downloading, except it's the database file that corresponds to my Gen 4 size 8. And there it is there. Now I can see happy can messages coming across here. And I have solid green on USB and flashy green on can. That seems to be encouraging. Get controller info. All kinds of secret information I'm giving away there. But it's showing this thing is at least working. It's not configured. Not everything is set up. Pre-operational encoder. I know it's not working, but I got further than my future friend on the internet there.